hello guys welcome to solving solutions on brand channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice to have you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to replicate what we did on qgis that um, we want to determine the coordinates of um, all of these vertices that we have in our polygon layer right good so as you can see we have different polygons and then we want to determine the coordinates of each of those um, vertices right so we come to the toolboxes and then under the data management tools we come to features right good now the first thing we need to do is that we need to extract the vertices of each of the polygons right good then after which we are now going to um, get their point coordinate so we are going to use um fissure vertices to points right good it creates um, a fissure class containing points generated from specified vertices or locations of point fissures so the input would definitely be the polygons we have and then um, we have um, the output fissure class by default to be this right then for the point type we can use this drop down now there are options to select from is it all the vertices is it the midpoint is it the starting is it the ending is it both start and end is it dangling vertices right good so what we need is all the vertices right good so if okay let's use this for an example we are having about four points here so we are going to have about four vertices right good so we need all of that and then we run now we have the vertices of the different um, polygons shown as um, points right good so if we zoom to layer you are going to see that each of those polygons that we had earlier we now have points that um, have been used to represent those vertices right good so we can now still using the geoprocessing to now add what the um, xy coordinates right good so it creates a um, new field point underscore x and point underscore y to populate what the coordinates of the x and y right good of that point so we click on that and then our input will definitely be what the polygon fissure vertices right good so we can now click on run good so it has been completed as we can see here so if we open the attribute table okay we if you had actually opened the attribute table earlier this point underscore x point underscore y wouldn't be there but because we use this last operation to add what the x y coordinates this point underscore x and point underscore y was um, added to what this um, our points layer right good so as you can see it modifies the input um, feature so it has modified our input feature now our interest is that we need to see what the coordinates of the vertices right good so if we okay let's zoom to layer good now if we click on each of these rows we should see good the corresponding vertices that we have selected right good so that is for station a so for station a we are having about two three four five right good the fifth one is just the first one repeating itself just to form what a closed loop right good so you can see the coordinates of each of those points and then if we still scroll down this is um for station c so where is our station c okay this is our station c so we're having about four again so we're seeing like five right good so that's um okay, let's come up a bit so this should be the first the second you can see the third you can see from here interactively the fourth right good and then coming back to the first so um we have used agis pro to generate the points for the vertices and then we have now um, imputed or added what the xy coordinates of those um, points or of those vertices so these now serve as what or this can now serve as what the coordinate so you can just um, control a that's um, select all and then you copy right good so we are on excel we can decide to paste whatever we have copied 
and then from here we can do away with some of the fields that um, we don't need so if we don't need the point id if we don't need the shape we can just um, delete them if we don't need this we can also delete so we have what for the different stations and then they are corresponding um, x and y coordinates right good so at this point you can decide to modify your coordinates to the number of decimal places that um, you would want it to be so let's say we need all of them to be in three decimal places right good so these are some of the stuff you can do with your generated coordinate that um, can be used for presentation or whatever the case is so thanks for coming to class we hope we have provided solution to this particular survey or GIS related problem we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye